One of the reasons why we're uh, concerned about white nose syndrome is up in New York and Vermont and Massachusetts, thousands of bats have been dying and the only symptom we seem to find on these bats is this little bit of white fungus uh, which can be seen right on the tip of their nose and uh, other than that the bats seem to be rather lethargic and seem to be moving from their typical roost towards the entrance. And then about midwinter, they seem to be flying out of the hibernacula, which is the place where they spend the winter sleeping, and they just fly out into the middle of the winter and die. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're trying to figure out what's going on with the bats that would cause them to change their behavioral patterns from hibernating deep inside a mine to moving up towards the front end here into the daylighted zone and then eventually emerging to, to fly out. So one of the things we notice about some of these bats is that they don't always have fungus on the nose. If we take a look at this bat, we can see that it doesn't have fungus on its face, yet we can see fungus all over the tail and the wing membranes here. And if we fold this wing out just slightly, you can see a little bit of white powdery fungus all over it. And we don't know if this fungus is actually causing these bats to die. We just know that the fungus is a visual symptom that is uh, uh, seen by us and, and the bats eventually are staging towards the front and then flying out of the site and we presume to die at that point. Mm -hmm.